quiz there. Sorry about that, folks. Do you see any difference between right hand and left hand? What do you think? Maybe we could have a new sport, synchronised bowling. Watch your feet folks, both of them are firing at the same time. Thank you both ladies for an interesting and absolutely super session. These words speak for themselves, but I'd like to make another point about the actual balls the internationals played with. Drake's Pride kindly made special coloured balls that would shop well on a DVD. None of the internationals had bowled with these balls before they went in front of the camera. Some of them weren't even their regular size, and I think you'll agree they did a fabulous job. If you're new to bowls, try and adapt a style which will actually incorporate all of the points you see here. If you're experienced and you say, I do all this, but I've still got a problem, ask yourself the question, do you do what you say you do? If you want the best long-term solution, get yourself in front of a coach who is licensed and trained to deal with your problems. Would you give your beloved car to an untrained mechanic? Why don't you treat yourself as good as you treat your car, and I'll tell you, it will cost you a lot less. If you're new to bowls or thinking of taking it up, we hope this helps. Even experienced bowlers may find items of interest in this specific section. Bowls come in a variety of sizes and different colours. Special bowls footwear is also required with no heels or markings on the sole. You also may have to buy some other small pieces of equipment like measures etc. Specialised bowl shops will advise you and help you to minimise your initial outlay. We only have the time to give you very basic info in this section. Flat green bowls are played in a rectangular or square area called a green. The green is separated into different areas called rinks. The rinks have a central number at either end. There are two other major markers on the green, which are the 2 meter mark and the 23 meter mark, and some of your new colleagues will explain this to you. In flat green, the mat is a rectangular object, which must be placed with the centre in line with the number. When delivered, the jack must be set in line with the number and the centre of the mat. Please be aware that when you stand in the mat to deliver your jack, Human nature makes you actually move your upper body or your head. It is the same symptom as that depicted in the best practice when taking a name in line with your ball. Practice setting it straight. In the indoor game which is a limited time, it uses up valuable playing time. It therefore becomes very frustrating for your colleagues. What I mean can actually be seen depicted here. A colleague will then center it to your instructions. Bowls are actually manufactured with more material on one side than the other. The heavier side is normally designated by the small disc and is called the bias. The purpose of this addition material is to provide weight which when bowled in an arc will pull the bowl back to the center. Here you can see a technically correct delivery to a wide aiming line, arcing back to the jack in a lovely smooth fashion. This one depicts what happens when you actually play too narrow and miss your line and come across in front of the jack. The depiction is close but it is not good practice. Next we can see a representation of what happens when the ball is bowled on the wrong bias and it may look melodramatic but it can be as extreme as this. Not only
only embarrassing, but your bowl is removed from the game. Your primary objective is to achieve this type of delivery with every bowl, unless you are requested to play a different type of shot. The primary areas that will assist you in this are your position of your feet, your arm and your grip. Ensure your whole body and feet and arm and shoulders and hips are facing your aiming point. Find what is the most balanced and comfortable position for you for your feet placement. You need to practice the synchronized movement of a forward step, transferring your weight and bringing your arm down in a parallel line at the same time. The length of step should initially be a normal walking pace. With experience you will find what is right for you. Be careful not to move your body and your feet across that line because this will lead to loss of line as depicted earlier. Everything should be smooth and symmetrical. Study the best practice chapter to see exactly what we mean. The grip is absolutely crucial because if it doesn't leave your hand properly it won't go down the proper line. You will need to experiment to find which grip is right for you. Whichever one you adopt, please ensure that the running line is correct when it leaves your hand. If not, it will wobble all over the place. This graphic represents that and this is known in the game as playing a pineapple. It will be very embarrassing and very, very frustrating. We record shots in bowls, not points. Whomever is closest to the jack has won the shots and in this depiction you can see that Red has indeed three shots. When the naked eye would appear to indicate that bowls are equidistant, then a special measure can be introduced to determine which actually is shot. We advise that getting training in how to measure is absolutely essential, even if it's only the help of your new colleagues. If the Crown Green Code is what interests you, again we recommend that you contact a club near you and get first-hand information. Crown green may be played across the green to any lens and at any angle. It is not played in defined drinks as flat green is. The actual playing surface itself is marginally domed in the centre. A small round footer mark can be placed wherever you wish. Here we see some coloured crown green balls, but in the centre is the larger jack, which also has a bias. The dynamics of the grip is exactly the same as in flat green. Here you can see a depiction of the angles on a flat green just to highlight the difference between the two. The crown green bowler holds his ball in the other hand to the jack. This is to aid them to take exactly the same line as that which the jack has just taken. The actual delivery mechanics are exactly the same in crown green as those in flat, be it for the jack or for their ball. Let's have a bit of fun and see if we can in actual fact answer these few simple questions without referring back. Don't be too concerned if you didn't get them all right, and remember it's a wise man who doesn't know all the answers, but knows where to look for them. Here we can see the Drake's Pride bowling arm. This is used extensively, particularly in Australia, and assists those people who could not bowl otherwise. Anything that can help people stay in bowls, or get back into bowls, or start bowls, must be a good thing. I'd like to offer a very sincere vote of thanks to all the clubs, companies and individuals who assisted in making this DVD possible. I can't thank them all, the list is just too long, and these are but a few.
We find many people do not enjoy the idea of being watched whilst they're being coached even though they may have some form of problem. You can, however, take advantage of our electronic coaching service. We can apply the technology you saw on a DVD to a film of your good self. Remember what we said earlier about your car? Why not get your delivery diagnostically checked? Intellectual property rights are now very clear and unfortunately if we find that they are compromised we will have no option but to take legal action. This has been an HEH Sports Coaching DVD and we trust you enjoyed it.